It feels like it's been so long. Oh, it's the uh, Sears. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my you mind some vision of this place. And how you. close were you? I saw the trees you and the water wait. and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. Well, there are there. sea salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Not, no, we're not here to talk. We're here to put you probably right there. <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. Okay, apparently that's this not yours. This feels powerful, alive. What are you, you for? see great things for us. No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. See, this is the assassin's one. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, is that what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. You can't wait, Ranvi. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. Yeah, all these places, yeah. There, there's tons more. There's like a, like this ten more back that way. Yeah, we have put for all these people, including a, me a Roman museum, which. Good Where day. in Rome? And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. Just so you know, yeah, is we're in there? Rome. Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. It had to be, because I've been to been the... changed, save their clarity. With every the return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. I didn't know we even had this place. Jesus Christ. Am I done? Am I done? And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Okay, so your chest face tattoo must be newer than your face, because your face is kind of fading out there. I may know a way to clarify this vision. It's a little bit of a An elixir retouch. May open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Do, uh, do I have enough? No, I need 60, I got 50. You get that material during raids, so. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. 
A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. Take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Yeah. Didn't like it too awful well. Where are you, kid? Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. You, um, kind of didn't get my attention. I had to come to you. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. He did it! Shh, she's coming. You did it! You brought Eivor! Good work, Knut! What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. Where's she dead? Down the well? She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. Hello. Opening it. The pig ate the front. The pig ate the front door key. Couldn't. Oh, nope. It's not. Hello. I'll free that wolf. And pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. Yeah, 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 yeah. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. Easy, easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. The pup hanging about and begging for scraps is a decent hunting dog. I have slain more wolves in my time than I care to count, but this one seems to have been away from her pack long enough that she has lost her wilder and crueler instincts. If she proves herself useful, I may even give her a name. Well... Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, more wolves! And not our new friend! Stand back! Oh! Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Are 
you all right? Thanks to our they didn't see much of it. Dog wolf. The wolfga. What? The wolfga. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? These are horrible names. We'll go Mouse. Mouse. That's uh, a strange choice, but it works. She's our best friend. Anything Good last episode. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are uh, uh, allied yeah. with the Danes of Grandabritshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Well, cuckoo. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. No, don't ask be them. Yourself. That's some horror creature SCP bullshit right there you just said. Who was it? This guy? Good thing. Tell me about what you do here. When you hunt any animal, bring it here for a trade. And if you get something really special, I'm happy to mount it. That said, though, I can't do much until you build me a place to work. Okay. You do tanning hides on makeshift tables and dirt. I'm off. So you're on my guys. Say hi to Petra if you see her. There you. That's right, this episode might be doing a little small missions. But still, it's part of our Tarbe, Do you have a second? Part of our people. I was wondering if I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. Did not expect that. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence. To never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't. Not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you... They threaten me. So let us face them together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. Well, I'm right here. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. Good. See? There's that cat. I want you to know. Should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Come on, come on. 
Can we run? Can we run? Which way? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Would they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family, even. I met him a decade ago. He was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in him. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. Gothbin, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I oh, know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind. But... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we Did will... Did that just kill him and all his guys? Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. Oh, good lord. Right. Wait here. And stay out of sight. That guy is absolutely worthless. He is so damn slow. And I'm up. I'm not doing this the assassin way. I'm I'm just gonna go in and kill everybody. You were supposed to stay out of the way. You're a dumbass. You seriously cost me from doing all the damage that I was supposed to do. You I'm gonna grass and sit down like that. Let's end it. Oh shit. Where's that? You still alive? Yes. One, two, brother. <laughs> oh, the fuck. Sorry.
Now, I'll revive your ass. Oh, look, somebody else. He did it again. He seriously did it again. Where's the goods? Was it up here? Oh my god, I was supposed to put him there. I came from the wrong direction. I'm back. Oh, oh my god. Oh, they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness. Such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age. No mistake. That's it then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. I hate this guy so goddamn bad. Like, where's your horse? Huh? Where's your horse? Can, can I leave you? No, I can't. Uh, 900? Tyrbin, are you satisfied? Yes. I he doesn't have a horse. It took forever for him to run. Hadn't heard it in years. Oh, my God. Ah, it's good to be home again. That is, I hate if you. If I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyrban, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can Fifteen manage. minutes. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Fifteen right. minutes. The ledger. Toss it and purge the past. With I had to run with him because he lost his horse.
pulse like a trap. <laughs>
Careful here.
Who disturbs my century-long slumber? I well deserve this rest. When my husband, chief of the Iceni, died, the Romans broke their promise to us. They took our lands, cattle, crops, our horses, and boats. They defiled my daughters, then me. As I am a fiery temper, with my husband's sword, I hacked through their legions. I burned their camps, Colchester, London, Albanus, desecrated Roman tombs, let flow rivers of Roman blood. But there were too many. Defeated, I drank poison rather than give myself to their sweaty hands. I am Boudicca. I say that. 